I'm hoping that when people enter the Wingate Museum doors and they come in and they see the hundred, that it makes them feel like they have purpose and that they are loved and that they are seen. It's a really strong reminder that the world is still filled with so many good people and people doing good things and people making a difference and making an effort to try to be a good change. My name is Faye Hedera and I'm an artist and composer and I moved to Conway last summer in 2022 and when I arrived and after everything had settled um, I decided to be intentional about how I connect with this new place. It was totally foreign to me and the idea came to me that I should paint 100 people that lived in this community because I knew nobody and um, that I should listen to their stories and share them. The goal initially of the project was for me to connect with my community and intentionally get to know people and invest my time and energy into my new community. Um, but as the stories have come in and as I've been painting people, it's really expanded to how I can connect people. When I started the project, I didn't know anybody except for a few people and so the ones that I knew I reached out and I sent them an email and asked if they would participate in this project. To my surprise, the response was really positive and people immediately said yes and they sent me the things that I needed and they started nominating other people. People could nominate as many people as they wanted but the criteria was they needed to be loved and they needed to be nice people. I decided that it needed to be a project that affected the community in positive ways and one of the ways that I thought would be really interesting and good would be for the proceeds of the paintings to go towards a nonprofit. And through a nomination, I came across Haven Conway and immediately knew that it was the one that should benefit from these portraits. Haven is a qualified residential treatment program for teenage girls in Arkansas foster care, kind of like a group home. Um, our girls range in ages 12 to 18 and have all experienced severe abuse and neglect and have been taken from their homes. My name is Emma Barre and I'm the development manager at Haven. So that means I do all the donations, fundraising, social media, um, anything like that I, I handle. So it's a lot of fun. We can have 12 girls at a time. Um, they go to Conway schools, they get jobs if they're eligible. Um, you know, they're just teenage girls that want to have a normal life and so at Haven we do everything we can to provide that for them. These donations will go towards just keeping our lights on, providing the girls with things that they need, clothes, school supplies, uh, hygiene products, all that will go towards that. So um, it's very needed and very appreciated because it's not cheap keeping these lights on and keeping food on the table. The community of Conway does so much for Haven. Um, it is really hard to put into words just how lucky Haven is to be in this community. And this project is so cool because it just really gets to highlight how amazing this community is and just how amazing the people in the community are. It's really cool to see it all come to life and see the impact that everyone has on the community. There are many, many good people and I feel like they are in, there's a purpose for them being in the project. I hope that that's what you sense when you walk in the doors of the museum and you see all 100, and I hope that's what people feel when they open the book and they look at the 100 portraits. And I hope that um, the girls who come to Haven and experience some kind of love or care from the project, um, that it just, it's a ripple effect of goodness and that um, it inspires other people to do the same and to give their time away and um, yeah, be generous with other people because life is just really short. So <laughs> might as well try to do something good with the time you have, so.